Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Hannah and today on this vlog I will be sharing with you guys how I make vlogs, my creative process, the ins and outs, step by step, and it's gonna be super fun, super easy, so this is all you're going to need. I'm just kidding. Just this. Yup, you heard me right. Some people think that you need so much equipment just to make a good vlog. But the truth is, one awesome device can tick all of the boxes for you. So thank you so much to Samsung for being the sponsor of today's video and for letting me use the Samsung A52 5G to show you guys how easy it is to make an awesome vlog. Okay, let's get started. Truthfully, even random vlogs need some form of preparation. It's called planned spontaneity. My jotting down can kind of look like writing down what my agenda is for today, whether that's um, seeing some friends at blank, 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 blank. Having a rough idea of what your day looks like kind of helps your brain prepare for what it needs to video. So that's what I like to do even before I start a vlog. Getting inspired is super important as well. So I like to jump onto apps such as Pinterest and I literally search like vlog transition and I literally just scroll through those and I get inspired of like oh my god I can try this angle I can you know do this lighting we have you know connections right now to the world's best minds and I think that it's super important to just take advantage of that so I super love that this phone has super fast 5g connectivity and it makes sure that I am connected and inspired anytime anywhere oh my god see look at this shot what? How? A uh, Florida Project? Great, great movie. Okay, anyway, I'm getting lost. <laughs> Another thing that I do at this time is I charge all of my devices. What's great is because we're vlogging with my phone today, I only need to charge this one device. The worst thing in the world is running out of battery when you are shooting a vlog, and so what's good is when you are actually, you know, nearing the end of the day and your battery is almost over, this is going to automatically turn on power saving mode so you will never miss that beautiful shot. All right, well, we're done talking about preparation, inspiration, all those stuff. Let's now get shooting. So there are two things I'd like to consider when shooting a vlog. The first is the story. So this is, well, basically telling people what's going on. And it's nice to have something going on during your vlog. <laughs> the story can be told by showing what's happening. So this is a good time to play with your angles. You can use a wide angle lens to give an establishing shot that basically helps your audience you know, know what the setting is of the place that you're in. Or you could try a macro shot, you know, and that really helps people see the details of the place that you're in. But the most famous and the standard shot for when vlogging is the front camera shot because that is the easiest way to connect with your audience. The Samsung Galaxy A52 5G has a high resolution quad camera right here and of course there is also a selfie camera perfect for vlogging and to get your angles perfect visuals anytime. Okay, uh, let's continue. Another way to tell a story is to narrate what's happening. Today I am vlogging about vlogging. So that's what today's vlog is about. Or you can voice over it afterwards. Just take the video without talking and then go into your closet, which I suggest is a very good place to make sure it is soundproof. Get your phone's voice recorder and just narrate what's going on. Be in the middle of a few pieces of clothing. It would be the best sound promise. <laughs> the next thing I think about is cinematics which is basically the things that you do to your video in order to make it exciting and a fun experience for your viewers. Some of my favorite things are using transitions, such as closing the camera and then opening it in another world. Another thing that I like doing is the squishing, so you basically just go whoosh. And another transition that I like doing is the water teleportation, but I can't do it with this camera. I gotta do it with this because this is waterproof and it's IP67 rated, but that camera isn't. Are you ready? This phone's, ooh, there's still some water. 
<laughs> this phone's IP67 rating means that it can actually be in fresh water for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? What? Usually phones that um, get wet, you have to like rush and then get rice and it just does not work. But I don't have to be afraid with this one. Anyway, moving forward, um, I also like to do kind of effects. So effects could be considered like B-roll. Um, the word B-roll actually just means, you know, slow, nice, well-designed shots with music in the background. I don't know, just let your imagination run wild. Let your creativity take over. Be expressive with what your eyes see and how you would like to express that with your audience. That's kind of what I consider cinematics to be. Um, things that you don't see every day and that's what my, that's what my subscribers call the edits. Okay, now in my editing chair, this is where the magic happens. I'm just kidding. I actually usually put on blue light glasses when I'm editing on my computer because you don't want your eyes to get ruined and it's just a horrible thing to lose your eyesight when you are an editor or a vlogger. <laughs> so be be sure to protect your eyes. Um, oh wait, but we're actually not editing with my computer today. Um, we are doing everything on my phone, yes, as we mentioned. Therefore, we are not gonna be needing those blue light glasses. Why? Well, because the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G actually has eye shield technology, which makes sure that the blue light is not harmful to your eyes and it protects your eyes in the process of your editing, and that's super great. So the app that I use on my phone is actually called InShot, and it's a free app, so anybody can get it. And it's super duper easy to use. I was so surprised when I actually used it for the first time. We're gonna start a new one. Um, let's choose some of the videos that... This is the formula that I use when I edit. I have an intro, I have a body, and then I have an outro because I think a three-part narrative is what I use when I make vlogs. I introduce to you guys, tell you what's happening, I prepare for whatever it is I'm going to do in the body, which is kind of like the meat of the vlog. What people like to watch is the body of the vlog. That's what you put in the title. And then there's the outro, which is saying, this is kind of what I learned. Um, look forward to what's coming next and thank you for watching. That's the outro. So intro, body, outro. In between, I put B-roll, I put transitions, I put effects. Okay, I when I when I start editing, guys, I really get into it. So let's just um, <laughs> let's just not show everything. But yeah, so you basically just put all of the clips that you like. I usually like to do my vlogs in. Um, chronological order which means what happened first second and then last and then I just cut 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 make sure all the things that I like are in there and then I put the b-roll so I put music I'd like to suggest um, epidemic sound that's the website that I use to get the non-copyrighted music to use on my vlogs and then I for the transitions you just put together closing and then opening and what's good about that is the transitions kind of also let the viewer know something new is happening um, so that it's not just abrupt like from you being at home you're suddenly in another venue like transitions are showing what's inside the car are showing you getting ready are showing you walking to that venue and it just yeah it helps the storyline kind of flow in a nice manner um and then i add music um in the background because i think that music just makes everything better and if you would like you can add some text effects or you can even change like the color of your um Video, so you can add filters Ah, Sundays What's there not to love about Sundays? It could be the end of a week or the beginning A perfect time to stop Pause A perfect time to get thinking I reconnected with nature today, as I love to do every now and again, for it reminds me how small I am. But even in my smallness, to him I'm significant. I opened a new package, it always feels like Christmas when I do. I also said hello to the pets, and they said hello too. I read about a boy on a tiny planet, and challenged my sister to a game, but of course she had it. 
a smoothie bowl craving then came without warning. So after I was energized with it, I decided to go running. Then it got dark. A signal for dinner, they say. So that, my friends, was my happy, happy Sunday. <laughs>